Hi guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Marbona on behalf of Ingles Corporativo. Thank you very much for being here. Let's take attendance and welcome after the weekend. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Not present. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Not present. Carla Ivani Cabrera Sosano. Not present. Claudia Lizette Canales de Enriquez. Present. Thank you. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Thanks. Hector Eduardo López Varela. Present. Thank you. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Thank you. Carla Inet Amaya Vera. Carla Inet. Not present. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Not present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Catherine Melissa? Not present. Mariana Carolina Sinjera Reyes? Present. Thank you. <clears throat> I want to sneeze. Miguel Angel Paz, Luna Verde. Present. Thank you. Yeah. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Miriam. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. All right, so Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez, not yet. Present teacher. Oh, okay. Thank you. Naftali Carolina Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. San Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Thanks. Reina Maria Isabel Alvarado Chavez. No, present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Thanks. Sandra Elizabeth Sorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Welcome back, sir. All righty. Anybody that I that is just here, that just got here? Me, Carla Amaya. No problem, Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Thank you. Me, Carla Maria. Carla Maria Quintanilla Vélez. Present. Thank you. Anybody else? No? <clears throat> okay, thank you very much. So, guys, um, just go ahead and recapping. What was Friday's activity? What for the activity of viernes? Uh, we review it. Exactly. What are the topics that we review, if you remember? Mm -hmm. Would you mind? Yes, would you mind? Um, what is the other option instead of would you mind? Could you? Could you? That's right. Can anybody ask me a request using would you mind, please? Can anybody give me an example? Would you mind? Would you mind teaching me English? Yeah, that's right. Would you mind teaching me English? I didn't hear the other one, Carla. Janet. I'm going uh, to more with me. Okay, great. Excellent. So after would you mind, we use gerund or infinitive? Gerund. Gerund, that's right. And what is a gerund? ING. ING. ING and what? So just ing, or do we have a verb in ing? Bear, bear uh -huh. and ing. That's right. And what about could you? Could you give me an example, please? Okay. Could you? Could you play me? Could you? 
Could you play soccer with me? Thank you. Guys, I don't know if it's you or if it's my earphone, but I hear you very, very low. Los escucho bien bajo, no sé si soy yo. Yeah, I think it's me. Okay, I'll do my best, guys. If I'm asking you too much, it's because I cannot hear you very well. So, what was your your, your request with could? Again? What was the request with could, guys? Could you, could you return early to house? Okay. Could you come back home early? Okay. Come back. Great. Thank you very much. So what do we use would you mind and could you for? What do we use would you mind and could you for? Or request. Requests. Request. That's right. Thank you very much, uh, Fernando and William. Um, what about the answers to these questions? Do we say yes, I could, or yes, I would, or do we use any other different answers? Any others like yeah. yes, no problem. Uh huh. Of so course. absolutely. Ah, okay, absolutely. fantastic. And what about the negative answers when you can't do it? Uh, no, and a reason for the answer. Like an example, please. No, no, because I don't have money, for example. Okay, that's the classic one for this past uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Baby, take me to the movies. No, because I don't have money. All right. Now, what about other topics that we covered? We are missing a couple. Mm. Uh, should you shouldn't should should, uh, should. Uh -huh. what do we use should for for suggestions suggestions exactly we use should for suggestions uh, would you give me an example of a negative suggestion Um, negative. Uh -huh. Negative suggestion. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be late at work. You shouldn't be late at work. That's right. You shouldn't uh, be late at work. Um, estar tarde en el trabajo. That's very Spanish. Um, like all right. Work. There was another verb, guys. It's a three-letter verb that we use to Llegar al trabajo. You shouldn't get. That's right. You shouldn't get to work late. Fantastic. An affirmative, uh, an affirmative suggestion for any topic. Hmm. You should take notes in English class. You should take notes in English class. That's right. And what about a question whenever you're asking for recommendation? Should you? Yes, should, I like that. Should, I, should, I should, you, should you study English? It would be, if you're asking for yourself, you're gonna use I. Should I study should English? I? Mm -hmm. Great. What about the answer? Do I answer, yes, I should, no, I shouldn't? Mm. What do you think? Can be sure, problem. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> exactly. It can be sure, no problem, or should I go to the movies? Sure, right? Should he pay rent? Yes, he should. You can use yes, he should or no, he shouldn't when you're making emphasis. Si le quieren poner mucho emphasis, sí, contesten igual que les pregunten. Yes, I should. No, I shouldn't. Yes, he should. No, he should. Great. So, um, thank you very much. And as far as vocabulary, guys, where is this at? 
How do you say persona que llega tarde? A person who's always late. That was new vocabulary on Friday. Later person. Almost there. You got 50% right. <laughs> uh, late comer. Late comer. That's right. That's right. What about modales? Manners. Manners. That's right. Etiqueta. Etiquette. Comportamiento. Behavior. behavior. What is the meaning behavior. of the behavior? That's right. And what is the meaning of guidelines in Spanish? Guía. <laughs> yeah. Like a guía. Una guía a seguir. Guideline. All right. Fantastic, guys. A lot of applause from me to you. Now, I'm sending you something to the WhatsApp group. Go ahead and check it real quick. You got it? <laughs> okay, good. I hear some laugh. Escucho que alguien se ríe. El motivo de este de este imagen que les he mandado. <laughs> no sean así. Ah, quiero que se noten el cambio. Cuando en las primeras semanas yo les preguntaba ¿Qué vimos antes? Todavía hay algunos que se me quedan callados. Pero ahora sí me están demostrando que lo hacen. Y eso, señores, no es algo que me pidan esa forma. Eso es algo que hago yo para asegurarme que ustedes están este, aprendiendo. Entonces, no saben cómo es el meme. En el sentido de que ustedes tienen que saber lo que ya, lo que ya este, aprendieron. Tienen que tratar de, de fortificarlo lo más posible. Porque de donde vienen es hacia donde van. Y no estoy tratando de ser filosófico, simplemente así es. Lo que estamos aprendiendo ahorita lo vamos a utilizar más adelante. Es como una, una pelota de, de nieve. No sé si han visto unas películas que se va haciendo más grande, más grande, más grande, más grande. ¿No? Pues así se va haciendo más grande, más grande, más grande. Más grande. Así que así es su conocimiento. Traten de saber lo que vieron al principio porque eso les va a llevar donde van. No es como la U que solo pasan una. Ah, fíjate qué ética, la pasé con seis. No me acuerdo mucho, por ella la pasé. Aquí no es así. All right. Así que, good job, guys. Me gusta el cambio que han dado. Solo quería que, que se dieran cuenta de lo que han hecho. Gran diferencia de las primeras semanas con esto. Y aún falta todavía. So, great job, guys. Proud of you. Okay. So, um, let's get started with today's class. Say with me, please. And do not use your books. Okay? Just repeat what you hear. No usan sus libros. Don't use your book. I will be able to. I will be able to. I will be able to. to. Request information about travel services. Request information, information about, about services. About service and communication. <laughs> and accommodations related to a business trip. And accommodation. And accommodation related to a business trip. One more time. I will be able to request information about travel services. I will, I will be, be able, able to request information, information about travel services. services and accommodations related to a business trip. Recommendation about a business trip. Okay, now read it with me, please. I will be able to request information about travel services and accommodations related to a business trip. I will be able, will be able, able to provide information about the travel service, about travel service, service and accommodation, and accommodation related to a business trip. Good. And Rick, um, I volunteer to read it, please. Go ahead, Carla. Okay. I will be able to request information about travel services and accommodations related to a business trip. Excellent, great job. Nice, nice, nice. Good pronunciation. Now, let's go ahead with the next. Say it, please. Do you usually go on business trips? Do you usually go on business trips? Do you usually go on business? 
Ah, bueno, no, no me grites, José. Estamos, estamos bien, ¿ok? No, no, sorry, bien. sorry. Good, you sorry, see, please. That's sorry. the enthusiasm of my life. Ese es el entusiasmo que me llega. Great job. So, um, one more time. Do you usually go on business trips? Do you usually go on business trips? What are three hotel services? What are three hotel services? Example, wake up call. Example, wake up call. Business center. Business center. Laundry. Laundry. Etc. Etc. You often use. You. What are three hotel services? Example, wake up call, business center, laundry, etc. You often use. What are three hotel services? <laughs> wake up call, business center, laundry, etc. Okay, yeah, no worries, no worries. That, that was a little too much. I know, I know. One more time. What are three here? Just for you, for you not getting lost. What are three hotel services? Example, wake up call, business center, laundry, etc. You often use. What are three, what are three hotel, 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 hotel services? Service. Example, wake up call, 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 business call, center, laundry, laundry etc. Open use. Good. I need a volunteer to read question number one, please. Carla. Go for it. Do you usually go on business trips? Sure. Trip. Like in Spanish, hey, me dio un trip super bueno, right? Um, yeah. Well, continue, Carla Maria, practice. Next question. Lo digo en español o en inglés? That's a good question. You know, I didn't think of it. Okay, go with the next one. What are? What are? What are? What are? What are? Uh huh. Continue, Carla. What are three hotel service? Says services. Services. Example. example. E.G. is example. Mm -hmm. Example. We are. Call, business center, laundry, etc. You often use. That's right. Now you often use. You go down. You often use because it's a WH question. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Try it again. You often use. Uh, no sé qué más voy a continuar. Just say it, say it like I do. You often use. Repeat. You often use. You often use. Good. Alrighty, guys. So, thank you, Carla Maria. Question. Do you usually go on business trips? No, I don't. No, I didn't. No, I, didn't. Mm -hmm. I never. Aha. Uh -huh. Go now, on business trips. Do you... Have you ever... <laughs> have you ever... Es alguna vez. I want to juegos, but have you ever... Interesting. Have you ever gone to a hotel or have you ever stayed at a hotel? Never. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No. Yes, I have. Uh -huh, yes, I have, right? Have you ever? Yes, I have. Um, I haven't. But, 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 you know, I don't know how to say this without being disrespectful. But um, no, no tele de un par de horas, right? But the ones that you go check in, <laughs> and you check out. Because because we don't normally we don't normally go. I have never stayed at a hotel. <laughs> well, resorts, yes. Like for example, a beach hotel, that's a resort. In that case, yes. But in a hotel like Intercontinental, what other hotels do we have? Sheraton. Sheraton. Crown. Crown Plaza. Barcelona. In intercontinental. Intercontinental. Ocho. So we got the hills. Uh -huh. The Marriott. Uh -huh. We have a lot of hotels. Now.
If you don't know anything about this, we're going to learn some vocabulary related to um, hotels. Okay? So let's go ahead and repeat here. Let's practice this conversation, guys. Ha. I don't want to make your life difficult. I just wanted to practice your listening skills, okay? Mark's travel agency, how can I help you? Mark. Mark's travel agency. One more time. <laughs> Mark's travel agency, how can I help you? Mark's travel, Mark's travel, travel agency, agency. agency. How, how can I help you? Help you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I need, I need a reservation, a reservation, for, a reservation for a single room. room. Si alguien está leyendo, don't cheat, okay? No se traposo. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on Costa Rica. Okay. Sure. May I have your name, please? Sure. sure. Can I have Can your, have your name, name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Oh, of course. Rosa Puentes. Puentes. Thank you, Mrs. Puentes. Thank you, Mr. Puentes. Thank you, Mrs. Thank you, Mrs. Puentes. Thank you, Mrs. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I How long are you going, going to stay? stay? I'm going to stay three days. I go I'm going, going to stay, stay three days. Three days. Now, the book says I'm going to stay three days, but I would recommend you to say I'm going to stay four, not the number four, right? The, uh, the position. Four, three, four, three days. days. Okay, uh, so that's okay. something that you could modify. Are you going to stay in, blah, blah, blah. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Are you going to stay in a smoking or smoking room? Non smoking, please. No smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? I'm going to need the shuttle service. Yes, please. Yes, please. Nice, great job. You're doing fantastic on this one. Great. That's when you improve your listening skills. Do it again, and this time with more fluency and a little bit more enthusiasm because you're reading it. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure, may I have your name, please? Sure, may I have your name, please? Sure. Sure. Of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. Of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? How long are you going to stay? And what about the contracted way? Instead of going to, what else can we say? Gonna. Gonna, that's right. So repeat after me. How long are you going to stay? How long are you going to stay? Ah, okay. Great. So how long are you going to stay? Gonna stay. How long are you gonna stay? So if we use gonna, we don't use to. to. Okay, keep it in mind. You cannot say, are you gonna to stay? We, we, it are makes sense, gonna... right? But we don't say that. Are you going to? Are you, going... are you going to or are you gonna? One more time. How long are you gonna stay? Uh, how stay? long are you gonna stay? Are you gonna stay? No, this is with no reduction. I'm going to stay for three days. I'm going to stay for three days. Three days. Yeah, I'm hearing some people not using the M. I'm going to stay for three days. I'm going to stay for three days. Now, the one reduced the contraction. I'm going to stay for three days. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. Gonna stay, gonna stay, gonna stay, gonna stay. Yeah, I'm going to stay.
stay. I'm gonna stay for three days. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay three, three days. days. Three days. No reduction. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Are you going to stay in a smoking room or non-smoking room? Now, the reduced version. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Are you going to stay in a smoking or a small smoking room? Non-smoking, please. No, 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 no. Are you going to need the shuttle service? 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 Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. yes, please. yes please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Great. So, guys, now I need uh, volunteers for translation. First one. Me? Go ahead, Nafta. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mark's travel agency, how can I help you? Oh, you know what? Let's change the, the thing. I need somebody who reads in English and I need a translator. So I need two volunteers. I already have Nafta. Uh, Miss translator, Fernando. Uh, Nafta is the translator. Miss yeah. Rosa. Bueno, me diga que están peleando por participar. All right. So, Natalia, you're going to be Rosa, and I think uh, Miguel volunteered first, right? Okay. Okay. So, Miguel, go ahead and, and translate. Nafta, you are in English. Go. So, Nafta, you're going to read everything in English, and Miguel, you're going to translate everything in Spanish. If you need help, ask your classmates. Go. Start not by in English, just in English. Mark Travel Agency has a Nafta. Mew, mew. Nafta. Hola, hola, hola. Hola. Go for it, Nafta. Dale en inglés y, y, y Miguel es tra traductor. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Uh, yo seré, eh, yo pensé que iba a ser Rosa, igual, en inicio, entonces. Mark's sí. Travel Agency, how can, how can help you? Okay. Agencia de viajes, Mark's, ¿cómo puedo ayudarle? Uh -huh. Continue with Rosa, Natalia. Uh, good morning. I need a reception for a single room. I am going to travel to Costa Rica in April 40, um, 44. 14. 14. Uh-huh. Buenos días. Necesito una reservación para eh, un único cuarto o una sola habitación. Mm -hmm. Habitación eh, sencilla. Habitación en sí, ok. Eh, voy a viajar a Costa Rica el 14 de abril. Great. Now, good job. Thank you, guys. Two more volunteers to do the same. Me, Mariana. Go ahead, Mariana. English or Spanish? English. <laughs> ah, ok. Daisy. Yeah. And Daisy Spanish. Go. Sure. Sure. May I have your name, please? Seguro. Um, por supuesto, me puede dar su nombre, por favor. Nice. Of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. Por supuesto, soy Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? Gracias, señora Puentes. ¿Cuánto tiempo va a permanecer? I'm going to stay for three days. Me voy a quedar tres días. Okay, great job. Thank you very much, girl. Uh -huh. English and Spanish, two new more, two new more volunteers. Me in English. Okay. Later. 
Mi Fernando Spanish. en español, entonces. Go for it. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Eh, eh, ¿Quiere estar en una habitación de para fumar o, o no fumar? O, para no, o sin espacios para fumar, algo así. Ajá, ¿Para fumadores o no fumadores? Y no, no fumadores. No, fumadores. Uh -huh. no smoking, please. Eh, para no fumadores, por favor. Are you going to need the shuffle service? Shortlet sure. 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 service. Eh, no, sure, no conozco esa palabra. Okay. Do you have a lot of classmates who can help? And internet access. Okay. Ah. Ah, great. Es como. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Necesitará servicio de, trans de, de transporte o. O desplazamiento yes. o algo así. Yes, please. Sure, okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, sure. Continue, continue. Yes, please. Sí, por favor. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, do you have any questions with this vocabulary? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh -huh. uh, la palabra uh -huh. Eh, only chocolate, ¿qué significa tiene? Shuttle, eh, no, lo, lo, mismo. Shuttle. lo mismo prácticamente, va okay. junto, pero el shuttle es transportation. Por ejemplo, no sé si han visto los microbuses del intercontinental, que puede ser que lo lleven, digamos, del hotel al aeropuerto, es, no es que lo van a andar paseando por la ciudad ni tampoco es taxi, son a lugares específicos. El hotel puede tener, por ejemplo, shuttle service, del hotel al aeropuerto, from the, from the airport to the hotel and vice versa, from, I don't know, yo he, ah, o sea, pues sí me he quedado, guys, la verdad que sí, uh, now I remember, um, they have a shuttle service from the hotel to the stadium, for example, when I go to concerts in some other country, because we don't know that, so they take us, it's part of the service, great, um, okay, so, go ahead and uh, repeat after me, please. Y yo tengo una duda okay. con, con, con la parte, eh, hay una parte en donde dice, dice Rosa, I going to stay three days, pero cuando usted lo decía, yo no sé si yo escuchaba mal, uh -huh. pero yo escuchaba que usted decía for three days. Yes. Entonces, ¿verdad que allá hacía falta el for? Yes. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, ya, ya aprendí a oír. Gracias. Eso, you see, that, that's también. a great thing. I like it, like it, like it. Good job, Daisy. All right, um, William Bonita Postal. <laughs> Come on, relax. I'm, I'm joking around, buddy. I need everybody to wake up. It's just what? What's today's day? Monday, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. So read after me, please. Accommodation. Accommodation. Here. Everybody, come on. I'm trying to wake you up. You're accommodation. 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 A place. A place. A place. Such, a place. Such as a Romina Hotel. Such as a Romina Hotel. Such as a Romina Hotel. 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 Hey, guys. Uh, uh, esto no estaba tan fácil. Y he escuchado a una persona que sé que le cuesta mucho y lo dijo bien. Great job. No se han dado cuenta, pero están creciendo un montón. So let's continue. Where travelers can sleep and find other services. Travelers can sleep and find other services. So, this is an accommodation, guys. For example, a hotel room. Okay, is what they have to offer. Now, see the difference with amenities. 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 The features of the hotel. The features, the features, the features of, of the hotel. hotel. The that are available. That are available. That are available. For guests to use. For guests to use. to use. The features of the hotel that are available for guests to use. The features of the hotel that are available for guests to use. Example, a gym. Example, a, 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 a pool, 
pool. But say it like this. Don't say pool. 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 A pool. A mini bar. A mini bar. A jacuzzi. Whenever you have double Z, guys, you're gonna say like jacuzzi. Pizza. Pizza. Remember, it's not with G, no es con G pizza. Not with S pizza. It's pit like Peter pizza. 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 That's right. Okay, so the amenities are with the hotel, the features of the hotel, right? And accommodations are the places. Okay, so pretty much the accommodations, the rooms. Okay. Now, what other amenities do you know for a hotel? Uh, mm -hmm. I know it's difficult. Casino. A casino, yep. Restaurant. Or restaurant. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Discotheque? Yep, a discotheque. What else? Spa. spa. Uh, room. Uh, oh, spa. and a spa. Sala de reuniones. ¿Cómo se llama? Uh -huh. room. How do you Mini say rooms. sala de reuniones? Mini rooms. Mm. Um, conference center. Conference room or conference center, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, coffee shop. Rooms también. A, co a coffee shop, yep. Coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Candy a shop. store or shop a store? Yeah, candy store. That's right. So mm -hmm. those are pretty much the uh, some amenities that the hotels have. So this is what we're gonna do right now, guys. Go ahead and say with me, please. Hotel services and amenities. Hotel services, hotel services, services and amenities. Shuttle service. Shuttle service. Shuttle service. Seven. Okay, yeah, you, you answered my question, yes. So, shuttle service. Shuttle service. Mm -hmm. shuttle. Next one, shuttle. business center. Business, business center. center. Business center. Which, one, which one do you think it is? Four. Four. Five. Eight. Five. Eight. Now, four. Four. Five. Center. Five. Uh-huh. Who oh. gives more? Get a mask, get a mask, get a mask. Ah, four. Okay, four. whenever you have, whenever in doubt, whenever in doubt, understand whenever in doubt, just continue. Okay? Mm -hmm. Next one. Wait, um, single room. Uh, six. six. Single room. Six. 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 Okay. Single room. Next one. Wake up call. One. One. Wow. Now, with wake up call, guys, we have two things. We have the hotel vocabulary, one is, can you please wake me up at 5 a.m.? Sure, sir, I'll give you a call. And they wake you up. But in life, a wake up call is, uh, how can I explain this in an easy way? Let's say yeah, that, uh... yes, but a wake up call is, when something happens, it makes you realize of something. Cuando algo pasa, ya se da cuenta de algo. Like, for example, you're driving too fast. Yeah. And you almost have an accident. But then you get very, very nervous. Right? So that's a wake-up call. Like, hey, <laughs> slow down. I'm not sure if I'm making myself clear. <laughs> Una llamada de atención no es que lo regañen a alguien sino que cuando uno se da cuenta que algo ya no está bien se va manejando muy rápido y casi se hace torta queda todo nervioso eso es una llamada de atención tengo que manejar más despacio right si uno está no sé tomando mucho de pronto llega a la casa sin billetera sin teléfono sin zapatos eso es una llamada de atención. Ángeles, right okay let's continue Wi-Fi internet. Eight. 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 Come on, but you still have to repeat Wi-Fi internet. Wi-Fi internet. Uh-huh. Business center. 
Business center. Oh, no, no, no. Business center. That's the other one. Fridge in the room. 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 Laundry service. Laundry service. Laundry service too. Laundry service. Great. Now business center. Business center. Business center. Uh -huh. And what about this one? Safe. Safe. Okay. Safe. Okay. Now, let me ask you something, guys. Now that we have finished this exercise, what is the meaning of safe? Depends on the context, right? I am. I feel safe. Yo me siento seguro. But safe in this in this case. What do you yes. think it is? Yes. Caja fuerte. Caja fuerte. Uh -huh. Now, ¿quiénes ya sabían que safe es caja fuerte? No. Eh, en mi caso yo creo que debería traducido literal. <ríe> Como box safe, algo por el estilo. Uh -huh. Ahora, no, safe box, safe box. Cuando safe ustedes box. ven esta imagen y ven safe abajo, inmediatamente saben que es caja fuerte, ¿no? Yes. Ok, good. So, de este de último, porque quiero que se den cuenta, mis chicos, que esta es una de las, de las maneras más fáciles de aprender vocabulario, cuando ustedes no necesitan traducir. ¿Okay? Cuando, por ejemplo, ven la imagen y abajo ven el nombre. All right? So, hay unos diccionarios, no les puedo dar el nombre, por, ya saben ustedes por qué, um, que lo pueden comprar. Okay. <risa> Um, lo pueden encontrar en internet y comprarlo en internet y, aprender, y estar cada vez que salen, cada vez que van al baño cada vez que van al seguro, llévense ese librito y cuando se lo aprendan apréndenselo así, safe no se lo aprendan, caja fuerte safe, caja fuerte safe, caja fuerte safe simplemente con la imagen ¿por qué? así están eliminando la necesidad de traducir alright, so this is a great tip I can give you for vocabulary or, or buy a google Uh, vocabulario de verduras, pero, pero en imágenes. ¿Ok? Uh, vocabulario de lo que sea, vocabulario de hotel, enter. Y así es como ustedes van a expandir su vocabulario. ¿Estamos? Okay. All right, guys. So this is what I wanted to do. For the next couple of minutes, um, I want you to discuss in, in your own words, what are the best amenities at a hotel? Okay, the most useful um, amenities. How do you say más útil? Most, most useful. useful. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and change it. We're going to do that at the end. Vamos a trabajar con eso al final. I wanted to work together and look for um, all of the amenities of a hotel. Quiero que investiguen y no compartan nada, por favor. Si de ser necesario, si no escriban el nombre, e investiguen todo lo que puedan acerca de las amenities and accommodations de un hotel. Okay. Amenities and accommodations of a hotel. And just discuss. Any questions? Uh -huh. Any questions? No? no questions. All righty. So go ahead and find out about what? What are you going to find out about it? ¿Qué van a averiguar? Um, Amenities. Of a hotel. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and discuss and try to use English the most you can, all right? Go for it. I'm going to see you at 10 so we can take attendance. Amenities and accommodations of a hotel.
de los de los ay, de los dormitorios que están como um, de una no cama, sé. dos camas ajá, eso ya, con aire acondicionado sin aire uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. a veces hay eh, unos que tienen como el minibar, la refe chiquita eh, hay otros que tienen baño y acuse, otros no Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, para todas las palabras. Ahí es tu vocabulary right now. Okay. Uh -huh. um, no sé, un fitness center. Sí, también. Un spa. Uh -huh. Ah, pero tiene que ser de la habitación o de todo el hotel. That's a great Peter. question. Amenity <laughs> and accommodation. Accommodations are, for example, the types of rooms. You can look for that too. There are different types of rooms. And then you have the amenities is what the hotel has to offer, like air conditioning, etc. cetera. So I'm open. All after that, we do some Entonces, las amenities serían como un fitness center. Uh -huh. Fitness center, spa. Eh, ver. Mm. Bar. Un bar o un lounge. Bar, ah, este. O de comida rápida, que no me acuerdo cómo le dicen. Sí, no. Como un buffet. Ajá, es que es el buffet. Y hay uno donde uno agarra hamburguesa, hot dog, pero no sé cómo le llamo picnic, ¿no? Ajá. Picnic, creo que. Mm. Eh, that's a good question. Google it. That's why you have resources, guys. Okay. Uh -huh. And I need the three of you working together. Rane, Miriam, and Mariana. Go, guys. Any mm -hmm. question, you let me know. You can also, what is the difference of accommodations and, 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 um, ah. Uh, Now I just lost it. What is the difference between accommodations and amenities? You know, this is your opportunity to investigate. Oh. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hey, hey. So, um, uh -huh. I wanted to investigate about vocabulary of amenities, of uh, accommodations. Use your resources, use the internet. Ah, ok. Este, no es solo de servicios, teacher. No, amenities and accommodations. So if you don't know, hey, I don't know what an accommodation is. Mm -hmm. List of hotel accommodations. Ah, okay. Enter. List of hotel amenities. Enter and you discuss them. Please. Sí, la acomodación, dijo. Uh -huh. Ok, ahorita. Habíamos sacado un listado como de los servicios que da un hotel. Ajá, uh -huh. like which one? Uh, service pharmacy. Ah, oh, ya se fue. Ok, no, I'm here. Ahí está. <laughs> <laughs> uh, este... Um... De aeróbico. Ajá, uh -huh. how do you say that thing about aerobics? Beauty for salon. Beauty salon. Mm -hmm. A fitness center could be. Masaje, área de masaje. Y, y está buscando en español o en inglés. <laughs> es que en inglés es muy difícil. Y no, eso están estudiando, pues. <laughs> Come on. La, laundry service. Laundry yeah. service. Good. Come on, chat. Restaurant, restaurant service. Ahí estamos. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Mm -hmm. Safe service. Ajá. Safe service. Yeah. So you see, si no están seguras, búsquenlo. Pero en inglés, vea. Difference yeah. between accommodations and facility. Okay. Right? Okay. Continue. Any question, you can come. Good job. Son amenities, bro. Son amenities, yeah. Eh, okay. Y piscinas. 
Tendríamos que poner otra. A ver qué más. Bueno, vamos a buscar aquí. ¿Qué dijo la pregunta? Amenity in accommodation Ajá. in hotel. No sé si también. Eh, game room in the hotel for the children. Game room, sí, creo que hay. Yep, you can have a game room. Romantic dinner on the beach. <laughs> free food and, and the Cameron is free food for Okay, there is a particular vocabulary for that. Try to find out. So free food is not exactly the, the one that you're looking for. Uh -huh, that, that's a good challenge. Damn. I'm gonna help you. It is all included. All included. Mm -hmm. All included. Okay. Oh. Uh-huh. Keep it up. You can look for it online, guys. List of hotel amenities. List of hotel Com complementary toilet toilets. Toiletries, uh huh. That's when you get the little soaps and, and the little shampoos that you can take them home. That's for you. It's like a gift from, from the hotel. Like how won't you keep it? It's complimentary to uh -huh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> No, literally, it's how won't you yeah. keep it? And shampoo sí. she keep it. Mm -hmm. okay. So Sabrina, come on, we need you here. <clears throat> Emple. Sorry. Emple. Come on, wake up, wake up, girl. Es que me, duele, me duele un poquito la cabeza, por eso estoy un poco callada. Here, here, <laughs> here. No, no worries. Thank you for participating. Hope you feel great, son. Let me check out the group. Keep it up. Hairstyling tools. Amenities. 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 En el dentro del hotel. Las amenidades. Uh -huh. Amenidades. Uh -huh. Ah, y las wow. commodities. Las commodities. Ya te digo. Esas son las de la habitación, según lo que yo entendí. Pero no sé si me corrige. Yep, Carla. that's right. Ok. Entonces, dentro de la habitación está lo uh, que bueno. tú dijiste. Por ejemplo... El Royal sofa White bed. bed, la cama plegable y el sofá bed, esas serían de common. Ah, ok. Royal. Uh -huh. Royal. Sofa bed y el Royal. Royal bed. Uh -huh. Ok. Quiero ver la foto que tomó en el aire. ¿Were at room? No. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuál? ¿Were out room? Un cuarto de entrenamiento. Work Eso out. es en commodities. Mm. Eso es incómodo. Mm -hmm. Ok. 
Okay, keep it up. We're going to discuss it. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Resource sharing. Goodbye. Oui. Hello. Hi, teacher. Estamos. Yo, yo digo que con acomodación suficiente con esta. Con la acomodación que tenemos. Uh -huh. Aire acondicionado no pusimos. ¿Cómo no? Ya sí está. Lo Air, air, es la, la palabra que no puedo pronunciar con the tiner. Air, air con the tiner. Con, con the, conditioner. Conditioner. No, no sé si se dice así, yo la estoy pronunciando así. Air conditioning. 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 Ok. Tenemos varias. Jacuzzi. Private bathroom. Digital security service. Restaurant service. Free transfer. Bells up to one meters. Air conditioner. Air. Eh, eh, air conditioner. Conditioner. Mm -hmm. ¿Tiene gripe, verdad, teacher? No. Ah, yo lo vi así cuando iniciamos como, como con gripe. Ah, oh. It's because of the weather. Mm -hmm. El, la otra es Midi Room. Midi Room. Mm -hmm. Ok. Vaya, sigamos buscando. Oh. Pues. Service. Ok. Mm -hmm. Desayuno a la carta también. Desayuno a la carta. Mm -hmm. mm. Bref, breakfast. Breakfast. Pero a la carta tenemos que traducir también. Ajá. Es que to the letter. Ser... To the letter. No, porque esa es carta de, de hacer de escribir, pero es que aparece breakfast a la carta. Breakfast. No quedaría solo con food service. You're mm. almost there. You can ask your class. Service. Food. Food service. Okay. Uh -huh. Food service. Mm. Okay. And by the way, yes, you can say a la carte. Mm. A la carte. A la carte. Yeah. Okay. Agua caliente. Mm -hmm. Hot water. Yeah. Así, así yes. sería, hot water. Mm -hmm. hot water. Hot water. Oh, and remind me, I'm going to give you some uh, details about. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take attendance real quick. <clears throat> Here, Alba Noami Cortez de Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivana Cabrera Solano. Present. Thank you. Claudia Lizette Canales de Enriquez. Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosma Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Present. Catherine, no, Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Carla Yanet. Present, present, present. Thank you, thank you. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. No, present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Naftale Carolina González. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Rena María Isabel Álvaro de Chávez. Rena. No, present. Sabrina Mabela Tim Castro. 
Present. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. Present. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. William. Not present. Oh. Hey guys. No le llega la señal al tunco, dice. Yeah. Okay. So um, a couple of things, guys. Un par de cositas antes que sigamos con la clase. Um, es nuestra última semana. So hay varios que les agradezco que se estén conectando, se están conectando, incluso estén en el trabajo, se están conectando, incluso estén enfermos, incluso incluso no aguanten o tengan algún problema. Personal, Present familiar. teacher. Lo siento. Ok. Thank you, William Alexander. Sáquelo, sáquelo. No, 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 tranquilos, tranquilos. No riot here. By the way, riot es eso, un disturbio. So, riot. Sáquelo, parece sirena con ese supondo. <laughs> exactly. Let's be professional. So, what I was telling you. Um, necesito que esta semana ya están haciéndolo súper bien. No sé cómo le hacen, señores, la verdad. Gracias. Pero necesito que no me falte. Solo hemos logrado como tres o cuatro full houses. Full house que todos están. De ahí siempre falta uno. Y se turnan para faltar. Que es lo bueno, la verdad. Se turnan. Entonces, no es que nadie me está faltando. Ahora, hay unos que sí ya no pueden faltar. Y ustedes saben quiénes son. Y si no, pregúntenme. Teacher, ¿yo puedo faltar? Probablemente la respuesta sea no. Si me está preguntando es porque ya sabe que está al borde del, de una falta más y está fuera. Así que, por favor. Uh, lo otro también no solo es la asistencia es también la cantidad de minutos hay unos que por trabajo se tienen que conectar más tarde, yo lo entiendo otros que incluso van manejando en, en, pero ahí están poniendo atención vea Ranecito gracias, así que buzos por favor con eso, no vayan a morir en la orilla lo otro que les quiero comentar real quick es este van a, uh, vamos a hacer el viernes, todos tienen que estar acá Porfa, 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 porfa. ¿Por qué? Pasan cosas muy importantes. Vamos a, número uno, terminar el módulo. ¿Verdad? Número dos, no es que tengan que conectarse para eso, pero tienen que mandar el, el, el final. Plan. ¿Ok? Eso es muy, muy importante. Y número tres, para los que ya han hecho esto antes, es el día de la evaluación de la survey. ¿Ok? Ahora, esta survey, eh, pues para los nuevos, aunque le llegue a ustedes el email, no la contesten. ¿Ok? Por favor, no la contesten. Que para, parece ser muy intuitiva, pero... ¿La tenemos que contestar, guys? No. No, negativo. Eso lo van a hacer conmigo. Ya saben que, que me tengo que tomar el tiempo. Porque a veces digo, vaya, pongan esto. Y me preguntan seis veces de lo mismo. Y es normal. Entonces, por eso yo tengo que estar ahí. Porque sin esta... Esta es una de las partes necesarias para que su módulo sea aprobado. No hay survey, el módulo no se aprueba. Teacher, pero yo llegué, pero yo hice esto, pero yo hice lo otro. Fantástico, me alegra que haya podido aprender, pero no puedo continuar. Así de simple. Así que, porfa, cuando les llegue el, el email, que probablemente sea miércoles o jueves, no lo contesten, no hagan nada. Solo vean que los datos estén bien y se hacen los muertitos. ¿Ok? Pero de ahí, no le tomen nada. Please. Um, and that's all. Thank you very much. Eso es todo lo que les tenía que comentar. Si saben de las personas que no han asistido, si las conocen, si trabajan con ellos, díganle, por favor, tenés que meterte siempre y buzos, caprusos. Ok, so the next part of the activity, guys, is as far as vocabulary. ¿Qué tan fácil o difícil? No me importa que sea en español. Quiero ver eso porque esto es la primera que usamos en el módulo. ¿Qué tan fácil o difícil les resultó buscar vocabulario específico? Pues difícil, ¿no? Lo único que teníamos equivocado un concepto, así que ya vamos a corregir. Ok. All right. Uh, what are your comments about this? ¿Cuáles son sus comentarios acerca de estar investigando de vocabulario nuevo? A mí me gusta. Or my experience. For my okay. experience in my travel. And mm -hmm. I, I know eh, eh, um, Everyone, no, algunos. Some. Some, some mm -hmm. amenities. Okay. 
All right. Thank you for, to Daisy and to Ana Maria, the ones who participated, but the most. Thank you. Now, we're going to have an activity real quick, guys. Um, so I have Mariana, Miriam, and Renee. You are a group, okay? What's the name of your group? Hola, teacher. Hola, teacher. That's your group, okay? No, I... <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Cardaivania, Claudia, and Nastalia. Name of your group. Um, um Tim, thank you. Okay. Jose um, <laughs> Antonio Miguel Angel Sabrina. Okay. Accommodation. Accommodations. That's the name of your group. Chacon Hector Carla. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the name of the group. Mm -hmm. Um yes, Fernando, teacher. Carla Maria, and William. El Tunco. El Tunco. Say it in English, brother, El Tunco. And Daisy and Sandra? Mm, okay, so you're the mm, team. All right, so I repeat. Mariana, Miriam, and Rene, what is the name of your group? Hola, teacher. That's Hola, right. Teacher. Room number, uh, group number two, Carla Ivania, Claudia, and Natalia. Um, um, team. Team. With a um, team. Um, team. Good. Um, Jose Antonio Miguel and Sabrina. Accommodation. Accommodations, <laughs> that's right. Accommodation. Uh, Chacon, Hector, and Carla. Amenities. Mm. Amenities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, great. Then we go <laughs> with. Uh... <laughs> Pay attention. Pay attention. Fernando, Carla Maria, and William? Tunco. 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 And Daisy and Sandra? Libes. Ya, ya dijeron. So you can practice with your M, Daisy. Mm. Mm. So this is what we're going to do, guys. Um, this is going to be, I don't know how good you are at typing, but I'm going to be asking you for um, vocabulary. The first team that writes it out correctly is going to get the point. Okay, so for example, if I say uh, this is a test, hot water. Damn it, I gave you the answer already. Hot okay, water. agua caliente. How do you say agua caliente? Hot water. Hot water. Hot okay, water. great. Hot water. Exactly. You have to write it down. So you see, William was very quick. He's got hot water written correctly. Now, if you if you do it like this, is this correct? No. No, 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 it's not. No, it is. It, is, it no. is misspelled. Okay. And if you don't know it, if this is vocabulary that you didn't find, then Google it. Okay. So just don't stay still. No se queden quietos. Don't play dead. Um, let's go ahead and start with the first one. Caja fuerte. Hey. 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 William. Hey, guys. Mr. El Tunco is going to is being very fast. Yeah. El Tunco, bitch. El Tunco. So that's... Uh, Teacher, tal vez no han entendido que tienen que escribirlo. ¿Qué? Ah. ¿Por qué no habló, pues? All right, guys. So, <laughs> lo tienen que escribir. All right? Okay. Ah. El primero que lo escribo le da el punto. Thank you, uh, William. <laughs> punto, ahí. Pero le escuché igual y yo tenía algo. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is just, uh, before we start, this is just uh, exercise. A, 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 a cultural fact. ¿Alguna vez han visto que los grifos, cuando van a un hotel o lugares que no son nuestros hogares, tienen agua caliente y agua helada? Yes. Un yes. coladito yes. azul y uno rojo. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sí. Cuando van a un hotel, ¿cuántas veces se han quemado las manos? O se la han congelado, porque ahí sí funciona. So, this is the thing, guys. Um, hot water is always to your left. Okay? El agua caliente, las líneas de agua siempre van a la izquierda. Sure. Keep it in mind. Cold water is to your right. Okay? So, 
hot water to the left, cold water to the right. ¿Dónde va el agua caliente? To the left, that's right. What color is it? Red. 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 Okay. Red. Now, esto es como estándar, así se hacen las construcciones aquí. Y este, tienen que ponerle atención. Hay unos grifos que son diferentes y las válvulas cambian. Right? So pongan carechumpe cuando vayan a un hotel. Miren bien eso. Okay? Okay. Now, okay. Otra cosa. El agua caliente, el agua helada. Bah, hay unos grifos que son, no son de abrir, sino que son como de... De puchar. No. No. Pull. No, no que son como es una, una... palanquita. Como una palanquita, correcto. Uh -huh. Solo la abren así. ¿Ok? Lo primero que se abre es el agua helada. ¿Ok? Lo primero que se abre es el agua helada. No importa si esto va para abajo o si va para Pero arriba. Un lado. ¿Ok? So, pongan atención a eso. Pasan de agua helada a agua caliente. ¿Ok? Así no se queman las manos. I, to me, that was a very interesting thing. Eso fue muy interesante cuando me di cuenta porque siempre me quemaban las manos. Ok, so, point four, El Tunco. Now, let's go with the next word. La tienen que escribir. Si la escriben mal, no importa. Llamada despertadora. Wake up call. Fernando Ernesto, and you mentioned the name of your team. El Tunco. Tunco. Bien, el Tunco. Okay. El Tunco. El Tunco. Uh, next one. Servicio de transporte. Mm. Oh. Shuttle service. Okay. Okay. Good. Ya van a aparecer, apareciendo más. Fernando. El tunco. El tunco. El tunco. Hey guys, come on. Don't let El Tunco uh, defeat you. Okay. Don't let them win. How do you say minibar? <laughs> yeah, mini bar. Good job, Carla Janet. Name of your team? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wait. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Is it mm or mm hmm? Um, team. No. Mm. <laughs> Give me a second. Wait, Carla Janet. Let me double check. Number four. No, you're. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. Now, as far as the next piece of vocabulary, let's go with. Uh, Piscina techada. Piscina techada. No. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Piscina techada. Come on. Use your resources. Daisy, Marcela, indoor pool. That's right. What's the name of your team, Daisy? Mm. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, piscina piscina que no está techada que está fuera piscina exterior sería. outdoor pool Miguel Ángel your team accommodation accommodations there you go great so repeat after me please outdoor pool Outdoor pool. Outdoor pool. Outdoor pool. Good. Cuartos pegados o cuartos que comparten una puerta. Uh, <laughs> glued rooms. Yeah, then double rooms. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Shared rooms, todo tiene sentido. United rooms. <laughs> ah, I like it. Nope. Okay. New door room. Mm. Okay. Aquí estoy probando su boca, sus 
eh, habilidad, habilidad de búsqueda también. Next door rooms. Mmm. Búsquenos como cuartos adjuntos. Contiguos. Miguel Ángel Repeat it For with me please Miguel Ángel got it Adjoining rooms Adjoining rooms Adjoining rooms Say with me please Adjoining rooms Adjoining rooms Adjoining rooms That's right What's the name of your group Miguel? Accommodations Accommodations <laughs> There you go All right we'll see, we'll see who can get more On this thing Ok. Reserva de hotel. Una reserva. Hotel reservation for Daisy. Daisy, what's the name of your group? Mm. Mm, that's right. <laughs> um, now, I'm going to give you two points. This one is for two points. It is another way of saying reservation. Another way. Otra manera de decir reservation para que expandan su vocabulario. This one is two points. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales, booking. That's right. Say it with me, please. Booking. 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 So this is a good. Uh, what's the name of your team, Ben? El Tunco. El Tunco. Okay. Hey guys, what's up with all the teacher? What's up with our team? You got no point yet. Come on, you can you can steal it. Right? So booking, guys, is reservación, but it's also a verb. Mm. So whenever you say book as a I don't know, this is a book and this is a noun, right? But the action is to, uh, you can book a hotel room, mm. you can book a table in a restaurant, right? So book is to reserve whenever you use it as a verb, okay? So keep it in mind. Quiero reservar una habitación. How do you say that in English? I want a book. I want a book. A book. I want a book. A room. Mm -hmm. I, I, or I need to book a room. Yo necesito libro un cuarto. Right? That's what you would say if you don't know. But now you know it is a verb. Okay. So let's continue with a couple more. This is for tomorrow. Free breakfast. Another way of saying free breakfast. Another way of saying free breakfast. Mm -mm. It's another way of saying free breakfast. Oh, no way. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Um, all inclusive, all included. Mm -mm. Come on, you can do it, guys. Hot breakfast rate, no. Okay, pause, pausa. Nobody write okay. down anything. <clears throat> Uno de los problemas que nosotros tenemos con el vocabulario es que generalmente no vivimos eso. Right? Es poco común que una persona en nuestro ambiente 
se queda en un hotel. Especialmente hablando inglés, porque no todos tenemos la posibilidad de, de viajar a los estados. Right? Entonces, lo que yo les aconsejo es, traten de vivir esa experiencia, que no es fácil. So, for example, si ustedes quieren saber acerca de vocabulario de hotel, métanse como que quieren hacer una reservación en inglés. Métanse a la página web de una compañía y ustedes van a tener un poco de acceso a eso. Si ustedes quieren, por ejemplo, pedir algo, no sé, por Amazon o algo así, métanse a Amazon en inglés y pongan atención a lo que dice. ¿Ok? Uh, quieren, este, <coughs> quieren saber cómo pedir servicios como cable, internet, teléfono. Métanse ahí, compañías que ofrecen servicios de cable en, en los Estados Unidos, enter. Les pueden salir muchas, uh, Comcast, um, AT&T, you know, hay, hay varias. Y métanse como que lo van a pedir. So, traten de vivir eso, porque no fue hasta que, después de muchos años de dar clases, de hablar inglés, hasta que puse el pie en los Estados Unidos, me di cuenta de muchas cosas. Y es un choque cultural muy grande. Entonces, ahora les puedo decir con propiedad, eh, traten de vivirlo, traten de buscar cosas en YouTube, lo que sea, pero traten de ser parte de esta cultura. ¿Ok? Vaya, démosle, guys. With this advice, try to get me free breakfast. Another mm. way of saying free breakfast. Complimentary breakfast. That's right. That is correct. Say it with me, please. Complimentary breakfast. Complimentary, Complimentary breakfast. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's right. Now, I want you to tell me jabón chiquito gratis. <laughs> y champú chiquito también. Jabón chiquito, champú chiquito, ¿qué más? Air conditioner uh -huh. chiquito gratis. Mm -mm, mini so free. <laughs> It makes sense, but no. <laughs> Come on. Toiletries, that's the word. Correct. But how do you make it free? Free toiletries. So say with me, please, guys. Free toilet free toiletries. Free toiletries. Free toiletries. All right. So congratulations to El Tunco team and For the rest, mm, mm -hmm, accommodations, um, team and all the teachers. Well, thank you for your participation next time. Okay. So this is what we're going to do um, right now, guys. We're going to continue working with this. And what I wanted to do is for you to create a conversation about hotel vocabulary. Okay. Like you're going to book a hotel. Let's say that you want to travel. Ustedes quieren viajar a algún lado. And you can say something like, uh, I need, I need uh, a single room with a single bed. Is there, how do you say, hay jacuzzi? Recuerdan that there is there are? Is there a jacuzzi? Is there a jacuzzi? That's right. Mire, y ustedes tienen piscinas y con techo. In door pool. Y como uh, preguntan si hay. Uh, is there? Is there an Is there an indoor pool? Mm -hmm. Right? So, um, go ahead and create this conversation, guys. En la, en la cual ustedes ya sea hablan con un amigo, diciéndole las cosas que quieren en el hotel. Pueden ser un par de personas millonarias, ¿verdad? que se van a ir a Dubai. Pueden ser un par de mochileros, backpackers, que se van a quedar en un hotel barato. Hey, um, let's go to this hotel. It has a jacuzzi. Nah, man, too expensive. Let's stay in uh, in Happy Inn Hotel. It is super cheap. It doesn't have a jacuzzi, but it has a single room. Y ahí se va. 
ustedes decidan el contexto. O también puede ser que estén queriendo registrar. For example, thank you for calling Ramara. Ian, this is Alejandro. What can I do for you? Um, mister, quiero hacer una reservación. How do you say that? Huh? I need a reservation. I need a reservation for tonight. <coughs> okay. Um, how many people? Two. I need a single room. Y ahí empieza. Okay. So the point is this. Vamos a trabajar más con este tema. Este nada más. We break the ice. Okay. Any questions on this? No? No. No question. Okay. okay, go for it. Conversation about hotel using vocabulary or making a reservation. Go for it. Alba Noemi, who was your team? ¿Quién era su equipo, Alba? Al principio estaba con Daisy, pero tuve problemas de conexión. Uh -huh. Entré otra vez, pero ya empezaba a pasar lista. Okay, so Daisy. Okay, go for it. En llamada, quizá. Vale. Ok. Bien. Eh, si no hacemos llamada, sería... Hi, Mister. Así como estaba la... la. Hi, no. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Mozo. Ah, no. Tengo que contestar así como que soy de los temas, ¿no? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Sería entonces eh, Hotel Holiday Inn. <laughs> okay. How can I help you? Así es. Ajá. ¿Qué te puedo ayudar? Uh -huh. Hotel Holiday Inn. No, uh, Irina, saludo. ¿Ah? No iría saludo antes de. Ah, Ay, you don't have to make it. You don't have to make it perfect, guys. You know, try to have fun. Traten de divertirse en lo que cabe. No tiene que ser perfecto. Okay. Okay. How can I help you? Help you. How can I help you? I help you. ¿Qué te puedo ayudar? Bye. Y, uh -huh. y ahí, Mr. Eh, 